Hey, what's up, guys? Um, today I'm showing y'all my go kart build. I'm gonna be building it from electric to gas, and here it is. So it's pretty dirty right now, but hope I can get it cleaned up pretty good and make it look good. Penny camo, I believe, and pretty filthy. I can probably get these seats cleaned up pretty good. Um, we're going to try in another video. Um, I'm showing y'all what my next build is going to be. And I'm going to hopefully it goes pretty good. When I bought it, I had no batteries, but that's why I'm going to convert it probably from, from electric to gas. Probably going to put a Predator 412 in it. It came with the charger, but no batteries. It's not too much rust. It's pretty good. And I'm pretty sure it's used on a farm, so they put this on this back thing. I might keep it on and put a board right here and make it look pretty nice. Uh, we'll see how this build goes. Hope I have some pretty strong plans for this. When I bought it, like everything is loose. Like when I picked this up, it just wobbles. And this thing came out the bolt here. Everything is loose. And the brakes are still good. And there's no key though, which the Predator engine has a key. And when I put the Predator engine on it, I'm going to put a reverse box, reverse gearbox. So I could do forward and reverse. And I don't know. I might keep this, I might remove it. I'm not sure yet. Let me see. And probably going to remove the motor and everything out. That was for electric. Um, the tires aren't too good, but they'll last for a while. It's a pretty good Yamaha go-kart though. To use the build will go pretty well. Probably going to throw the charger away. I don't have anything else to do with it or maybe sell it on eBay. I don't know yet. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to order the parts soon. And hope it goes well. So guys, I hope this build looks pretty good. And probably gonna buy a Predator 420 off Harbor Freight, and then I'm gonna buy the Stage One kit for it from Go Power Sports. And I believe I'm gonna get my dad to help me make an exhaust for it. And hope it goes pretty good. And. That's pretty much it. And I'm probably gonna take the roof off. Um, probably don't need that. I might buy a uh, smaller windshield so it's smaller and there's no roof. And make it look nice. I might repaint it as well. Um, not sure what color yet, but hopefully it looks nice after I paint it. Alright guys, that's all for this video and come back to see part 2. We're probably going to be cleaning it and possibly taking some parts off of it. And hopefully it does pretty well. Probably going to pressure wash it and then maybe scrub it down with purple power. And hopefully it cleans up real nice. 